Welcome guys to another video. Thank you guys for watching. This is HSR High Speed Reality. And I'm about to show y'all the update on the spoiler video that I was gonna tell you, that I was telling you about last last time. So let's get right into it with a semi cold start. gonna drive the car anywhere that's that was just starting up for the video anyways back to the spoiler so initially let me tell you what parts you have to take off I'm gonna tell you the tools that you need for the install I don't really have them right now I gotta go find them they're all in the back somewhere but I'm gonna tell you the, the ones that you need taking out the stroller out the car because it's kind of in the way a little bit so to start off for the spoiler install you have to take off these clips right here which will end up showing you the bolt is going to be in there obviously that one's not in there because my dumbass dropped it in there and wasn't able to find it and I'll tell y'all more about those bolts right now because I did tell y'all I was going to receive some more. But I'll tell y'all some more about that in a little bit. Anyways, there's one, two, three, four. And then you have to take off this whole thing, this whole cover, by removing these clips right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven clips that you have to take off. And then it'll expose two more bolts. There's gonna be one bolt right here and one bolt right here in this area. And you'll need an extension to be able to reach these two bolts that are in here. Uh, so basically the tools you're gonna need are obviously the bolts that you're gonna use. You're gonna need a ratchet. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket for the other bolts because these these were changed into oh shit, wrong one. These were changed into Phillips screwdriver bolts. So yeah, the tools are a 10 millimeter socket, a drill, an extension cord. If you have a an electric drill or no extension cord if you have a battery drill. Um, you're gonna need the drill bits, two different sizes. This one's an 1132, which is what I used. Um, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver for the new bolts, or depending on what uh, what tool you will end up needing to use. I don't know if we can focus on there. Yeah, so this one's a. An Allen wrench, but I ended up going with the Phillips, obviously. I showed you already. So, I mean, it's a pretty simple install. The hardest part about it would be lining up the wicker bill, would be lining up the wicker bill to the spoiler. So what I recommend is for you to put the spoiler on first before you start drilling because if you do it on the floor or on a table or something there's a chance that you can mess it up and put it on a bit crooked. I don't know if you can tell but you see these sides over here? This side right here and this side right there. So you see how those sides are more up, more spaced out? Mainly because of the way the spoiler curves so you see this the spoiler fucking does like a little u-turn let me show you that from this side the spoiler has a little the spoiler has a little curve to it so it's not going to be a straight fit for the camaro ss specifically other cars may vary depending on the manufacturer and how they built it but on this on the camaro it has a curve so you got to work around it so what I did, 
put the spoiler on first since I did it by myself I had to use painters tape to hold this so I put painters tape I put a bunch of it I put like three slaps of tape to hold it right here so I put one right here taped it on on this put one right here tape it taped it towards the spoiler itself and I did that on both sides and you got to make sure that you put painters tape under on the spoiler itself all the way across where the bolts where you know the bolts are going to go mainly because when you start drilling when you start drilling the hole the outside part of the drill can and it will damage like you'll see a little a little circle around the hole you drilled so you, you don't want that to happen so you want to make sure you have tape on it so you don't scratch it more than you need to and since mine's plastic it's not the uh, fiberglass or whatever the dealerships offer mine was at a cheaper more affordable price which came out to be 170 bucks for the kit which included the wicker bill and the spoiler so obviously it was gonna be cheaper material but i mean obviously it looks pretty good like it looks it holds i've been having it on there already for about a month and it's it it's on there it's not wiggling it's pretty stiff on there the, the spoiler the wicker bill holds on pretty aggressively i've gone well over 150 miles per hour with this thing on there and it does its job it looks good and downforce you want downforce especially when you want to go track it i'm not really using it for track this is just my street car is gonna be a street build hopefully here on out but yeah doesn't take too much to put it on it's just a bit of a tedious job but it looks good from far from the back it's a pretty good easy build doesn't take too much So yeah, so I had originally um, recorded the video on my little camera. Let me see if I can take it out. There's not a lot of space in here. But on this camera is what I had originally recorded the install of the spoiler, but the sound quality didn't work out. Um, it was, I did it at night. I did part of it at night because I did uh, the spoiler. I put it on at night on a Friday night. And then uh, the wicker bill, I did it on a Saturday morning. So I did it during the daytime so I could see what I was doing. But you don't really need much light for this. You just need to be able to see the holes that you're going to be putting the screws in. Doesn't You don't need a lot of light for that. It's pretty simple. Just bolted on there um, but this camera but this camera like I said it the whole video of me putting that spoiler on there got ruined because there was no sound there was sound but it sounded muffled the camera the, the microphone on this thing uh, apparently obviously was not the best and like Everything else, you know, it happens. You get your downfalls and shit happens and this is trash. So I will never be using this ever again. I don't intend to use it for a camera either because I have an actual camera that I can use for pictures. And right now I'm just using my iPhone, which has turned out a lot better than that. So I wasted $75 for no reason. So make sure when you're gonna go out and buy your cameras, make sure you know what you're getting. Cause I didn't know what I was getting when I bought that and it was cheap and you get what you pay for but this on the other hand this on the other hand i feel like it was more than i paid for because i mean 170 bucks it looks great i mean it is plastic so you can see the i don't know if you can see but you see this white line right here where the 
plastics were folded against each other and I guess melted together. Or I don't know, however, however they manufacture that, but and it has kind of this weird look to it. It's not a straight matte black like you can see. see all these little white spots on it. It doesn't look bad. I like it. I like it. I love it. Makes the car look great in the back. Gives it a more aggressive look. Makes the ass look bigger on the car. Obviously, we all like ass and kicking rocks over here. So, I mean, it looks great. It's a beautiful wing. It's served its purpose. The car looks great with it on it. See it popping out right there. The bolts that that I had originally lost for this. So they sent me. They sent me a new set, but they sent me the wrong ones. Cause obviously, look, I have I have those right there, and these are the brand new ones that they just sent me. Bag. These are the brand new ones that they just sent me about three days ago. So obviously, it's the exact same ones. What are these used for? These are used for this. That's what this is for. These bolts go into this socket. Let me try and put the phone up. Let me show y'all. So the bolts they sent me are for the thread inserts that they gave me. So these are the thread inserts that I've been showing y'all. And these are the bolts that I already had. So this goes in there, like that. And the ones they sent me, the new ones that I just got about three days ago, same thing. Those also screw in there. So now I, got, I already emailed them. I told them about the problem. They told me that, well, actually, they haven't responded yet. So I'm waiting for a response. Um, now I'm just playing the waiting game to see when they respond and when they send uh, the new boats. If they don't end up sending the new boats, I guess I'll just have to go buy it myself or look for the exact same size at AutoZone or something. But I'm going to have to remove one of these that are, is already in there to go look for that piece. And obviously once I remove one of those, I'm only going to have four bolts on there because it takes six so I'm only gonna have four bolts on there and they're gonna be the four bolts are only gonna be on this side so it's gonna be those two and then those two so that's kind of sketchy you know once you start driving around obviously when you start driving around and this is loose or something it's gonna obviously damage it like the old spoiler did this is what the old old spoiler did already so that's what happens when shit starts rubbing on itself and i don't want that to happen anymore so when i take those bolts off i we'll obviously have to go in a different vehicle which is right there but now i gotta wait and see if they're gonna send them or not because these bolts right here that I have are no good. It's literally the exact same ones. You see the washers, the washers that they sent, the brand new washers are already installed on the car. So this is a simple way to know that they messed up. I have these washers right here, but I also have those washers right there. There's one right there and then the other ones in the back. I don't know if you can see it. Look right there, boom. See, the other washers are already in there in the back so obviously you can easily tell that it's the wrong bolts because it's a whole kit they send the whole kit for that so i was originally gonna show y'all this video until i got that bolt but since it didn't arrive yet i don't know why it's not focusing there it goes since it didn't arrive yet I said fuck it, I'll make the video anyways, let y'all know what you need to install the wicker bill and the spoiler. 
because obviously I can't show y'all the boat but I showed y'all where it goes and I showed y'all what to do so yeah I think that's where I'm gonna finish the video I told you guys the tools that I use I told you guys what to do basically do the spoiler first then do the wicker bill once you have the spoiler on in my opinion that was the best way for me to do it it was easier yet took a little longer but I mean it turned out good it turned out fine I liked it it's holding on pretty sturdy it's not loose at all yet the bolts the bolts aren't loose not none of the bolts are loose yet should have probably you can use they, they can sell this liquid called Loctite that you can put on the screws so that when you screw it in that Loctite liquid basically like glue It'll keep the bolt in place and it will never loosen up or nothing. Basically like super glue for bolts. It takes a few minutes for it to dry so it gives you enough time to be able to put the bolt in there. Other than super glue, super glue it'll dry fairly quick and it's not for metal. You know, it won't stick to metal, it'll you know it'll break over time, but Loctite, it won't break. It's designed for metal, it's designed to keep bolts in place. So if you guys want to use that for extra secure uh, durability, you can. But I didn't use it. I feel like I don't need it. I didn't need it. But if in the future it, one of the bolts starts loosening up, then that'll be my next option to, to use the Loctite. Until now, I haven't had to. Doesn't look like I need to. So I'm glad that so far it's a month in. And I don't need it yet. I um, think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else I need to cover on the spoiler. Yeah, fairly simple install. One out of ten. On a one out of ten scale, I'd give it a four on how hard it is. It's, it's not hard at all. Your little 15 year old brother can do it. This is where I'm going to finish the video and thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, follow my Instagram at ls3 underscore Hesker. Uh, it'll put up to date videos, put up to date pictures on what I'll be doing to the car as far as cleaning it, buying new parts for it. Going out and taking photography pictures, you know, everything, you know. I'm gonna show you as much as I can of this car as I go with it. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all later.